Hello everyone! In our last two-step video, we saw how to solve equations that had two steps using two inverse operations. Today, we're going to look at equations that are longer and require multi-steps before we get to solving. We have two friends to help us remember. Panda takes fish skating. This is a mnemonic device that can help us. With memory tricks, the crazier the sentence, the better. And after all, who can forget that a panda is taking a fish skating? The P in panda stands for parentheses. The T in takes stands for tidy up. The F in fish stands for fix X. The S in skating stands for solve. What do I mean by these steps? Well, first, if we see any parentheses, we would have to distribute. Then we would tidy up. What does that mean? Well, we would simplify on either side of the equal sign. Then we would fix x. And by the time we've done all of that, we would have a two-step equation that we can now solve. Here's our first example, and we can see that we have a parentheses. So we're going to have to distribute and multiply 2 times x and 2 times negative 4. 2 times x is going to give me 2x, and 2 times negative 4 is going to give me negative 8. So we've distributed, we've gotten rid of the parentheses. If we look, this is pretty tidy. I just have a variable, a number, the equal sign, and a number. So it's pretty tidy. Um, we don't have to fix x because there are no x's on both sides. We'll leave that for another time. And now our job is to solve. So our first inverse operation would be to add 8 to both sides. So now we have 2x is equal to 20. And then our next inverse operation is to divide by 2. So x would be equal to 10. And as we've done before, we can now take our solution, substitute it in the original equation, and if we say 10 take away 4 will give me 6. If I multiply that by 2, do I get 12? Yes, so I've solved it correctly. This is our next example, and as we can see, we have a parenthesis here, so we have to distribute. We need to multiply 4 times x and 4 times negative 1. Well, when we do that, 4 times x will give us 4x, and 4 times negative 1 will give me negative 4. The rest of the equation stays the way it is, so we've gotten rid of the parentheses. And now we do have to tidy up, because if you observe here, we have negative 4 and positive 3. We need to simplify this. This will become negative 1. The rest of the equation stays the way it is. It's okay. We don't have to fix x because there are not x's on both sides, so now we can solve. We do our inverse operations to both sides. We're left with 4x on the left-hand side and negative 12 on the right. And then we're going to divide by 4. And x is going to be equal to negative 3. And at this point, we can take it, substitute it into our equation, and we can say, okay, negative 3 subtracted 1, I get negative 4. If I multiply that by 4, I get negative 16. And if I add 3... I do indeed get negative 13. In this next equation, we don't have parentheses, and we don't have to tidy up, but we do have this problem where we have x's on both sides. And to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to perform an inverse operation. I'm going to do the inverse of adding x, which is to subtract x, on both sides. Remember, it's a system in balance. When I do this, on this side, the x's will disappear. And on this side, if I have 8x and I subtract 1x, I'm left with 7x. On the right-hand side, I'm left with 14. And then my next inverse operation would be to divide by 7, so x would be equal to 2. If I want to check this, I could say, okay, well, 8 times 2, is it equal to 2 plus 14? Well, 
16 is equal to 16. So yes, we've solved it correctly. A question I'm often asked is, could we have subtracted 8x from both sides instead of doing what we did? And of course we could. So what this would give us on the left-hand side is 0. And on the right-hand side, we'd be left with negative 7x and 14. And from here, we can perform our inverse operations the way we've been doing. We would subtract 14 from both sides. And on this side, we're left with negative 14 is equal to negative 7x, because, of course, this will go. And so now, at this point, we would divide by negative 7 on both sides, and x would be equal to 2, which is the same thing. Here's our next example, and here we have everything to do. So the first thing we observe is that we need to distribute. So we need to multiply 3 times x and 3 times negative 2 to give me negative 6. Notice I do nothing else at this point. I do one step at a time. So I've gotten rid of the parentheses, and at this point now, I need to tidy up. I'm going to group these numbers together because that's not very tidy. So 3x will stay. If I owe 6 only to add 10, I have 4. And the rest, I have an x and I have negative 20. So that's tidy. What do I mean by tidy? Here I have a variable, a number. The equal sign, a variable, and the number. That's tidy. At this point, we have to fix x as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides. Over here, it's going to go. I'm left with just negative 20 here. And 3x take away 1x is going to give me 2x. And at this point, we have a two-step equation. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides. I'm left with 2x is equal to negative 24, because if I owe 20 and I owe 4, I owe 24. Now we're going to divide by 2, and x is equal to negative 12. In this example, we have a parenthesis we have to distribute first, so I'm going to do that. This will give me 5x and 20. I do nothing else at this point. We do one step at a time. So I've gotten rid of the parentheses. Now I need to tidy up, and what I'm going to tidy up is this here, the two numbers. So I'm going to tidy up. 5x is OK. Uh, this becomes 10. I've simplified it is what I've done. And so I'm left with this. And now I have a variable, a number, an equal sign, a variable, and a number. That's tidy. Now we need to fix x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides. And on this side, it's going to go. I'm left with 3x and 10 on the left-hand side and 22 on the right-hand side. Now we have a two-step equation. We need to solve only. We subtract 10 from both sides. We're left with 3x is equal to 12. And now we're going to divide by 3 and x is equal to 4. In our last example, we see we have two parentheses, which is why I wrote it in plural for our mnemonic. Well, we're going to have to distribute carefully and slowly, one at a time. So 12 is going to multiply 3 to give us 36, and 12 times x will give us 12x. And on the right-hand side, 5 times 2x is going to give me 10x and 5 times 8 is going to give me 40. So I've gotten rid of the parentheses. It's tidy because I just have a number, a variable, an equal sign, a variable, and a number. So it's tidy. Now I need to fix x. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. On this side, I'm left with 36. This is going to give me 2x. On the right-hand side, the x's have gone, and I'm left with positive 40. At this point, now I have a two-step equation to solve. So I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. 
I'm left with 2x is equal to 4, and now I'm going to divide by 2, so x is equal to 2. Subscribe to my channel to get updates on new videos, and if you'd like me to create more, like and share with someone who might find this helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.